5th October 2016. I saw my test result and was shocked, pained and angry with myself. And that was the day when I transformed my score and my life. In this video, I'll share a very personal story with you with the hope that you'll learn something from my experience. Listen to it fully as the lesson is at the end. To understand the lesson in depth, imagine yourself in my place. A test that broke me into pieces. A few days before the result, it was a pleasant day. I was very confident as I did my homework and did 8 hours of self-study with it until I sat to give the test with a good mood but witnessed that I am actually not that good at organic chemistry. After giving that test, I was already depressed as I only attempted of 20 something marks in the organic chemistry part of 40 marks. But what I got was 4 marks, negative 4. If that ever happened to you, you know how bad it hurts. I couldn't believe. I rechecked the answer key again and again, only to find that answer key was correct and it's me who is wrong. I admit I was not good at even understanding organic chemistry well enough in depth on J-Advanced level, but negative 4 is just unacceptable. What would I say to my parents? I've never got negative marks. My scores were always above 60% in a fairly J-Advanced like paper. While checking the answer key and solutions, I found that I'm fucked. When you get bad marks, it hurts. When you are not even able to understand the solutions, it really hurts. And if this is not good enough or bad enough, when you hear everyone talking, it was obvious, it breaks you into pieces. I guarantee it would not be so much of an issue if I didn't study for it. But I prepared hard for it, did everything my teachers told. The day of transformation. I went home to my parents. I have to answer them something, right? I told them everything, honestly, but with shame. In the beginning of that month, I took a resolution within myself of making my parents proud. These were the days when my life was all about my family. I had no dream of my own. And here I am making them worried and ashamed. My parents, both medical doctors, scored well in their PMT. Asked me the question paper because they too have studied organic chemistry at that time. My mom was uh, figuring out what the real problem is. But my father said, it's simple, it's easy. My pain and anger took the expression of tears. It was an extreme moment in my life. I wanted to say that you go outside, leave me alone. But he went by himself, and which, which irritated me even more. As the door closed, tears rolled down my eyes. My mind was like a storm of negativity for a few minutes. It's my mistake. I'm a bad student. I'm a worthless son. Listen guys, these are the extreme moments which either break you or make you. And I understood that early in my life as a martial arts practitioner. I kept control of my mind. I know the mind which is in a negative state will stay negative even if you try hard to stop it. Statements stop your thinking, questions open up your thinking. I was thinking in statements, I can't do it, this is not possible, all that stuff. But questions really opening your sensible thinking. So from negative statements, I transitioned to questions, to more thoughtful and logical questions. Am I that bad? Can't I do it? Is it that difficult? Can't I do it even if I conquer it and become obsessed with it? Can't I do it if I change my methods? To that which works. Can't I do it if I study organic chemistry from scratch again? The answer came, I can. I saw there are scopes of improvement. But I was not just interested in improvement. I was interested in a complete transformation. But exactly how? Three things that brought the real transformation. Number one, I changed my mindset. From a weak mindset to a strong mindset. From a defeated mindset to a courageous mindset. Studying organic chemistry again from scratch was courageous. Lot of people won't do it. I promised myself to never look back at my past performance because I am going to change it from its roots. Number two, I changed my methods. I didn't figure out the best methods until after trying every permutation and combination humanly possible. I tried and I got that method of study which works miraculously in my case. And later as a mentor, I found it works for literally everyone. It's a very powerful method, which I can teach you guys too. 
But the important thing is bringing the change. A lot of people don't bring the change. They keep doing the same things and expect the results to change. That doesn't happen. Doing what works and removing what doesn't work. This improves you. Number three, I obsess myself with organic chemistry. I studied from three books the same thing and spent a lot of time on one concept rather than trying to complete the syllabus fast. I search for mentors on the internet to, set, uh, to get guidance from them to know the best way to understand anything in depth but found no one at that time in 2016. After that being three years as a mentor, I myself crafted those high performance methods and from two years I am teaching them to students. Whatever I had difficulty in understanding, I searched internet, university level books, apps, websites related to organic chemistry, everything possible which I don't recommend you to do because I have already figured that out. I searched and read like crazy before figuring out the right combination of books to follow which I will tell you later in this video. I sketched on my study table, reactions, orders, values and pasted notes wherever possible. I changed my environment like that that my mind organic chemistry. I made it the first thing in the morning and I did it in the breaks. Not before breaks and after breaks. In the breaks, I did it. I made my mind organic chemistry. My mind equals organic chemistry. Like that. To the point, all I could think of is organic chemistry. In my dreams, organic chemistry will come. What was the result of this? All that done consistently for nearly two months landed me in organic chemistry, full score in JEM 2017 and a full score in JE Advanced 2017 in organic chemistry part. And without even proper revision and messed up drop, which I will tell in a different video, it's a different story, I got full score in JEM 2018, full score in JE Advanced 2018 in organic chemistry. And also in these 2017 mains and advanced and 2018 mains and advanced, also in organic chemistry. But that's another story. This is just to tell you how strong I have made my organic chemistry and how strong can you make your organic chemistry or for any other subject for that matter. What are the takeaways? Now these are 7 things that I did that 99% JS students wouldn't do when they are in similar situations and these are your lessons, these are your takeaways. So pay attention. Number 1. They don't take it emotionally. If your failure doesn't hurt your soul, what will change you then? Now this is not for those who really get psychologically imbalanced and get suicidal thoughts. Uh, with all due respect, this is not for sensitive people. Uh, if taking things emotionally, taking scores emotionally, taking defeats emotionally uh, makes you imbalanced, uh, this thing is not for you. But the second thing and the other things can be. Number two is, they will come up with excuses as to how they don't have enough IQ, how they can't do it. See, uh, most of the students figure out a way how not to do things, how not to be successful, how not to be a high rank achiever. You will figure it out. They wouldn't have worked on changing their mindset. They think changing the mindset is empty talk. In the name of changing their mindset, they would have watched motivational videos, which I believe is not a part of changing the mindset. Changing the mindset is very different than watching motivational videos and getting motivated for a period of time and then coming back to normal. It doesn't work. It just doesn't work. They won't start studying from scratch from 3 to 5 books because it is a lot of work. They will try to find an easy solution. I didn't. I know that all the easy solutions I have tried earlier and, and I failed. But most of the JS friends will try to find an easy solution. They will try to find one short uh, one, one short video of boards of mains level videos, right? One of them. They won't become obsessed with something when that seems and sounds strange and stupid. When it sounds strange, when it sounds stupid, of being obsessed with something, your friends, your family, they will always object you. Why are you being so obsessed with it? Are you mad? Are you psycho? Are you what? Right? See, this is the difference between a passion and obsession. When you are, when you find your passion, everyone uh, claps for you, literally, right? But when you are obsessed with something, they think, Ki kya pagal ho gaya kya? Ghuse ga and you have to become the second one. You have to become the obsessed one, not just the passionate one. They are not willing to change their methods. They think working hard is the solution. It is not a solution. It's a fucking problem. Working hard is a fucking problem. When study seems hard, that means you are doing something fundamentally wrong. Don't you get it? Now, I don't want uh, this video to just be an inspirational video for you. I want you to take action. Make these seven lessons a part of your life. Don't do what the 99% does always. Right? Do what the 1% do.